Hey, what's up guys? Mike here for a new tutorial. So today I will show you how to add icons to the menu builder. Because there is no option to add icons in the main link, menu links or menu drop down here, it doesn't mean we can't. Actually, there is a pretty easy method and I'm going to show you. So first, let's pick up an icon. The best place I found out to pick up icons is icon.js.org. Why? Because first there's a lot of choice and we can download or copy the SVG with uh, all the attributes we need. So let's say, for example, I want um, a nice little home icon. Here, it looks pretty nice. Let's pick up that one. So I select my icon. Here, I just have to click on the SVG icon um, button here. I go to the text field and I passed the SVG. So icon is there. Let's change the size to make it a bit uh, better. 16 pixel, right? And it's there, our icon. The good thing is that uh, we can even change the color of the link. And let's put some red. As you can see, the icon we change to. So that's pretty cool. Now let's say I want to add an icon to the menu drop down. So you think we can do the same? Let's change uh, maybe product or something. No, well, what can I put here? Another icon, I don't know. Really, this one, SVG. So let's say I want to put an icon. So we think we can do the same things. Why? Not exactly. There is an error. Actually, it's because for some reason, with the menu drop down, we can't add double quotes in the text. So what we have to do, we have to convert. That's why I have here my um, notepad to convert all the double quote into single quote. So I replace all. Now we have single quotes. I can copy and finally go there and paste. And we have our icon. So the same is better to to change the size. Actually, I will do it here. It's a bit more convenient. It was 32, 32, 16 was not bad. Let's uh, and type product or whatever. Right. One thing about the menu drop down, a little bit trouble, but um, when we click and there is already an icon, if I click somewhere else like this, come back, it will show an error. Actually, it's because for some reason it will convert all the, the single code into double code again and throw this error. So it's a bit annoying. That's why I just click on uh, Ctrl Z for undo. Each time we do that. So it's not very convenient, but as long as there is no error, I can save and show the page there and we have our icon. If you want to add some spacing here between the icon and the text, you go to the menu builder and let's add a little bit of uh, CSS and breakdance dot menu, uh, not dot, is dash link and add a little gap, for example, 5p. Right, you see, 50, whatever. And we have a nice little space between the icon. And if I go back here, I can put another icon. No. We can uh, even put animated icon here. I saw some somewhere. No. Not sure. Let's check. Anim. Yes. Let's put a bone symbol. And I will duplicate that one. Change and Right, a nice little icon. So here's my method to add to easily add icon 
except for the menu drop down, which is a little bit trouble, but it still work. It's, uh, I think it's still, uh, it still work well. So see you for another tutorial.